Coronaviruses emerged over 10,000 years ago, with a more recent family of beta coronaviruses emerging over 3,000 years ago in the Middle East. Now, usually these viruses cause a mild disease. We call it the common cold. You get a fever or a mild cough, but that's about it. But the recent emergence of the SARS-CoV-2 variant essentially caused a massive epidemic. Over 200 million individuals have been infected with SARS-CoV-2, and this is what we know as COVID-19. Over a year and a half ago, we started studying why does metabolism affect the virus outcome? And what we saw is that the SARS-CoV-2 causes massive lipid accumulation in patient lungs. Lung cells infected with the virus start seeing lipids in places where they shouldn't be, causing massive lung damage and eventually waking up the immune system and causing the cytokine storm. What we found is that phenofibrate, a drug that was approved by the FDA back in 1975 to treat dyslipidemia, could dramatically reduce the lipid accumulation in the lungs. Not only that, it blocked virus replication. To support our findings, we carried out an observational study in three clinical centers in Israel and added additional observational data from Europe and the United States. All these data supported our initial observations, showing that phenofibrate can dramatically reduce the inflammation induced by COVID-19. Today, we are happy to report the first results of our interventional clinical study. We treated 15 patients with phenofibrate. These are severe patients that require oxygen support with a SOFA score above one. In these patients, CRP levels, which are the best indicators we have for inflammation, usually stay persistent over weeks. In patients taking phenofibrate, they decreased in less than 48 hours. What's more interesting is that the neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio, NLR, which is the best indication we have for an overactive immune system and a cytokine storm that we expect in most patients, was completely muted. Patients receiving phenofibrate were protected from the cytokine storm. More importantly, we could win more than 90% of the patients, 14 out of 15, from oxygen support in less than a week. For us, one of the most promising things about this study is that phenofibrate is a very safe drug. It has been approved by the FDA for the treatment of chronic dyslipidemia, so patients have been taking it for decades. We are suggesting a 10-day treatment of severe patients, so the safety profile is outstanding. What's more promising is that it looks like that phenofibrate can also affect long COVID, the symptoms that occur on COVID-19 patients after they get better. We think that the data is incredibly promising and we are all looking toward the phase three data to support our early findings. It is critically important to understand that vaccines are still the first line of defense. SARS-CoV-2 is an incredibly infectious virus and vaccines can dramatically reduce the number of patients that get exposed to the virus in the first place. That said, people will still get infected and we will still have severe patients, even in decades to come. And this is where drugs like phenofibrate and others can come into play, treating severe patients to dramatically lessen the burden of the disease.